Hi, this is Billy Gerritsen with Game Salads Game Team 1, and this is part two of our Game Center Achievements uh, video series. Uh, I'm about to um, follow up what I just did when I set up the achievement in iTunes Connect, and now we're going to connect it to our achievement in uh, Game Salad. So I have a blank project here that I have some artwork that, uh, that I have set up. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show off some of the, the more basic um, behaviors that we've added to 0992. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this, uh, this button graphic in here. And that, that button graphic is to essentially pull up the, um, the achievements list from, uh, from Game Center. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do a basic uh, rule with the condition for touch. So when touch is pressed, we're going to fire off um, the uh, show achievements behavior. So if I just drag that in, you can see here uh, there's no there's no settings on it. Essentially, it's a, it's a one way trigger that if uh, that when triggered, it essentially pauses your game and it pulls up the achievement list um, as it appears in iTunes Connect. Uh, so if you um, if you're already logged into Game Center, it'll happen automatically. And if you if you aren't logged into Game Center, um, the login prompt should uh, come up first, and then on successful login, it'll take you to the achievement list. And when you're done looking at that, or if you cancel out of the login prompt, it'll unpause your game and go back to where it was. Um, so that's that's super basic. And so if you were going to make a view achievements button, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, I'm going to really quickly put in a dummy uh, button here. Uh, this will be essentially a debugging button um, for our new reset achievements behavior that goes along with Game Center achievements. Um, so in this particular um, example, I'm going to make a rule here for touch. And then if we go to the behavior list, you'll see that there's a, another new behavior here called reset achievements. Again, there aren't any settings. Um, it's a one-way thing. So as soon as this button is pressed, according to this logic, it's going to reset the achievements for the account of the player that is currently logged in to Game Center at that moment. Now, um, I just wanted to point out that this is this is a this is meant to be for debugging only. This is this should not be a behavior that you put into your live product um, that the actual public will will get a chance and get access to. And the reason why is you're not going to want your players to accidentally reset all of their achievement progress and uh, and have a really bad experience. So this is meant for when you're testing out your achievements in an ad hoc build, if you wanted to trigger achievements just to make sure that they worked and then reset them for that test account, that's that's really what this is for. So, um, so that's kind of what that looks like. Again, very, very, very easy. And you can trigger it off of a uh, uh, various events. It doesn't have to necessarily be on a button, but that's just a very straightforward implementation. So let's get into the meat of uh, the Game Center achievement behavior. So I'm not going to create a, a rule condition just yet. I'm just going to pull in the update achievement behavior so we can take a look at it. Um, it's, it's a very basic looking um, behavior. There's only two fields that you can edit, but uh, those two fields can be very, very flexible. Um, depending on how you have your achievement system set up for your game. So the first field is the achievement ID field, and um, that's, that's, a very, that's very straightforward. You can either manually enter or have um, an attribute or an expression uh, or table reference here in the expression editor to, to store the achievement ID. For the sake of this um, example, I'm just going to manually type in the one that I set up uh, in iTunes Connect, which I believe was test underscore achievement underscore one. So that's test underscore achievement underscore one and really quickly for for anyone who doesn't already know how to um, how to create essentially a dynamic link to to that data I'm just gonna put uh, I'm gonna create a self uh, attribute it's a text uh, text type and then I can show you really quickly test achieve underscore achievement underscore one and then what I could do here is just actually dynamically link the achievement ID to that ID attribute that I just created. And then that way, I could just, um, if I had many instances of this, uh, of this actor in my scene that I wanted to all kind of relate to different um, uh, achievement IDs, I could just affect the, uh, the, the attribute here at the, at the self level as opposed to making custom code. So that's how, that's how that works. 
Um, okay, so the percentage field is where um, you're going. You have a couple options on how you wanna you wanna treat your achievement unlocking. So Game Center supports um, the ability to not just essentially unlock an achievement at a hundred percent in an instant. Um, it, it lets you do incremental um, achievements. So like you can have an achievement that unlocks 25% of that achievement. Um, like let's say there's four keys that you have to collect before um, completing that achievement. And so each key you do um, increments that achievement uh, 20 by 25%. And that's kind of persistent over your, over your entire game experience. Um, uh, yeah, so so you can put um, any any number of percentage values in that field, and it'll update Game Center with that value. The thing to remember about Game Center, though, is that it's it's not a it's not a persistently tracked um, system. So, like, let's say I had those the, the example of the four keys, and I have this uh, this example uh, update achievement behavior that's incrementing by twenty five percent. Now, if I just dump this in each one of the instances of the keys to collect, um, you would think that what it's doing is it's incrementing it by twenty five percent each time. So key one would make it twenty five percent, key two would make it fifty percent, key three seventy five percent, and then key four one hundred percent, and therefore a full unlock. Well, Game Center doesn't have a concept of that. It doesn't stack your progress. So what you would have to do is tell um, Game Center on that first key, um, I'm unlocking 25% of this achievement. And on that second key, I'm unlocking 50%. Like you would actually have to hard code that value in. Um, but that's not necessarily very, very dynamic. So in that particular scenario, um, what you could do is have, if I backed out here, like let me go to the, the game attribute and let me say, uh, let me make an integer um, attribute and let me call this total keys collected. All right, and so now let me create a dummy key actor and say, hey, when um, when the key, let's just say, let's make a dummy rule here. When the key overlaps or collides with um, our little paper alien uh, actor here, um, we are going to increment that game attribute by one. So, um, so when when the key is overlapped by the character, we're going to increment the game uh, total keys collected attribute to game total keys collected plus one. And what will happen is if I use the same actor as my key for all four keys, it'll go from uh, it'll it'll calculate you know the initial time I get a key it'll make that attribute one the second time I get a key it'll make that attribute two uh, third key three fourth key four um, and so what we would do in our in our alien if we wanted to say hey you know each time we got a key it was twenty five percent well what we know about it is there's there's four total keys and so each time that this guy touches a key what we're going to want to do is we're going to dynamically tell Game Center how many keys we have over what our goal keys are. So think about it as your total running value divided by your goal value. Um, and then that's going to create essentially a decimal. And then in order to make that a percentage that, that Game Center can use, you're going to multiply that decimal by 100%. And what that's going to do is going to shift the decimal uh, over two places and make that a nice percentage value. So what this is going to look like is you're going to open up the expression editor. And uh, we're going to say uh, each, essentially, um, let's make a rule condition here, that each time uh, this guy overlaps or collides with the key, we're going to update the achievement um, we're going to make a calculation here. We're going to call it total keys collected divided by four, right? Because there's four total keys that we want to collect. And then we're going to multiply that entire value by 100. So uh, order of operations means that the, the division will happen first before the multiplication. So what will happen is the first time um, uh, that you collect a key using this using this uh, formula is it'll it'll create um, an equation right so so key one will make total keys collected one divide that by four and that is 0.25 you multiply that by a hundred and that's 25 right so game center gets updated 25 percent if you get the second key 
that's going to be 2 divided by 4, which is 0.5. Multiply that by 100, and you have 50%. And you can see where I'm going with this. It's, you know, 3 over 4 is 0 .2, 0 0.75. And then finally, 4 over 4 is going to be um, 1. And that times 100 equals 100%. And, and as soon as you hit 100%, your achievement is going to get fully unlocked. And you can continue to increment beyond 100%. But uh, as soon as you unlock it um, for the first time, it's going to stay unlocked forever. Um, so hopefully you guys were able to follow along with that. Essentially, if you're going to have an incremental uh, achievement, essentially an achievement that's made up of doing an event uh, multiple times, uh, you're going to need some component like this, some some uh, some equation that essentially takes your essentially your running total divided by your achievement goal, and then you multiply that value by 100 to create the percent. Um, so uh, so that's the more complicated. Uh, form of achievement. Um, otherwise, let me just hide this real quick uh, and put this here in focus. Um, otherwise, this guy, um, which is essentially uh, unlocking at 100% um, in this in this in this one shot, uh, this is a this is an example of an achievement that you would use. Like, let's say if you've beaten the game, if you have an award for beating the game, or if you have an award for uh, making it to level five, or you have an award for beating a rare boss. Like that's kind of like a single event trigger. So as soon as that boss is beat, you know that that boss is beat, and then you would say, update achievement ID, whatever your achievement ID is, and then by how much percent? 100%. It's going to do an instant unlock, and you'll see the achievement prompt um, if you if you trigger it off of that event. Um, but yeah, so. So again, hopefully you guys were able to follow along with that. I kind of went with the more complicated example first, and then I, I kind of finished it out with the more simple approach. Um, but I think a lot of our advanced users are going to find really, really clever ways to um, set up like specific tables that use tables to reference the achievement IDs and the achievement goal uh, values and things like that to make it really dynamic. And uh, that's a lot of effort, a lot of thought and effort went into the, the design of this achieve of this achievement behavior to make it that expansive. Um, it doesn't look like a lot's going on, but just the fact that you can uh, get access to the expression editor on both fields means that you can really customize um, your achievement system to however you want and make it work for your game. So uh, we really try to make it as flexible as possible. So, uh, so yeah, I mean that's 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 the gist of um, of the game center achievements uh, behaviors in um, games uh, game salad 0992. So uh, as always, if you need additional support, please visit our cookbook gamesalad.com slash cookbook. Uh, visit our forums. We're very very active forums, and a lot of people are, are really good about sharing uh, their information. And uh, and yeah, just keep an eye out for new features coming. Thanks.